Ag Live at Union Station in Dallas, Texas for the NFL Player of the Year Awards put on by the NFL alumni for the first time ever broadcast live here on Sports.com with the help of Ustream.tv. I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks for joining us. It's filling up here. The cocktail hour is almost over, and we're going to get to the awards show very soon. But we have a very special guest next to us, a 14-year NFL legend. He's a Hall of Famer and a true gentleman, played with the Cowboys for all 14 seasons, something that doesn't happen very much anymore. Mel Renfro, thanks for joining us. What do you think of what Dallas has done with the Super Bowl preparing and the festivities that are going on? How exciting is it for you that the Super Bowl is here in Dallas? Well, Jerry Jones is, is, is quite a businessman, and he... He knows how to throw a party and put things together. And with the help of Roger Staubach and several of the other uh, old cowboy players, they've done a good job in the planning and, and instituting a lot of things to make this happen. With the Cowboy Stadium, it's a great venue for uh, a, a game like this. Unfortunately, the weather's kind of throwing a monkey wrench in it. But still, the parties are going on and people are having fun. Are you having fun? Well, I'm having a great time, but they're, they're overworking me. I, about three events a day. What uh, what do you do these days other than events? I'm retired and uh, good know, for you. Well, I've got some health issues with some uh, you know when you're at my age and you've gone through what I've gone on the football field, you've got some knee problems, you got hip problems, you got neck problems, and you got nerve problems. So I don't do a whole lot. I try to stay active as physical as I can and with walking and things like that. And I love to travel. You know, I talked to Mike Ditka a couple weeks ago about health issues regarding you guys uh, we I did a piece for NFL alumni TV and he was saying it's so important for these guys to get health care to get the benefits they need to get the operations and the procedures they need done and and to do something about the pensions because right now you guys are are not getting what you deserve the league was built on your backs and the guys before you uh, and the players today are reaping the rewards and the league is re reaping the benefits and you guys are, are kind of left in the cold do you, you know, do you feel that the, the new announcement yesterday is a good step forward on health care, long-term health care for you guys? Well, it, it, the announcement is good if it, it takes effect, if something happens. I've been hearing rhetoric and talk for 30, 40 years about improving this and improving that with the different entities, the Players Association, the NFL Alumni, the Players Inc., and they, they all want to say that change is in the in the works but nothing has happened hopefully something happens from now on to help and not only the guys like me but the guys that are 40 and 50 years old that are going to experience these aches and pains a little bit later in their lives what what are you in your mind what is with the nfl players association that will not get alongside the nfl alumni why does the players association not seem to care about the retired players because all the guys who are playing now who are paying their dues will be retired at some point well you know I, I really can't answer that you know when Gene Upshaw was there he always said that he you know he didn't work for us uh, but he was one of us and you know I never really could understand that but uh, I, I'm on a wait-and-see basis I'm, I'm hearing some good things and I'm hearing some bad things but like I say I've, I've, I've been hearing rhetoric for so long that I don't pay uh, credence to anything until it happens. How about George Martin, his regime change here uh, with the alumni and the progress they've been able to make? Are you happy with that so far? Well, yeah, I, I think so. But, you know, the proof is in the pudding. You know, when I see actual things take place and changes occur, then I'll, I'll be happy and satisfied. But like I say, over the years, I've heard so much talk. And uh, on, on, on another uh, side, they send you so much paperwork and information and things to do and it makes it's, it's, it makes it too difficult to get in there and find out exactly what what your benefits are so simplify it open it up and make something happen sounds uh, good to me I, I agree with you Sim make it simple use apps or something uh, you know apps I think the idea behind apps are because they make everything simple they simplify it so I agree with you no matter what to do make it simple let's talk about the Super Bowl here who do you like in the game and why? Well, I like Pittsburgh. Uh, 21 to 10, Pittsburgh. They both got great defenses. Rothenberger seems to find a way to win. Uh, they've got a great defense. Uh, it's just going to be a great football game. I don't expect it to be high scoring, but I think it's going to be a game that you know people will remember. But I do 
Well, and I'll make one note. I, the last 10 times I've picked the Super Bowl, I've been wrong every time. <laughs> well, that streak's got to break soon, and I think you're right. Roethlisberger is their edge. I've been saying that for two weeks now after seeing him destroy the Jets. Speaking of the Jets, what do you think of Darrell Rivas? He's, he's, he's kind of like um, he's a shutdown cornerback. I mean, he's one of the best I've seen in a long time. You know, Dion was great, and uh, uh, Champ Bailey. Uh, I mean, these guys are just uh, the, the great cornerbacks, the one-on-one -on -one players, and, and I, I like him. I, I, you can put him out there on an island, and he'll take care of his business. Well, here's the only thing that I think fans say around the country, that maybe he's not that good. He's just made a couple of great plays, and now they're afraid to throw to his side. I would say... If they're afraid to throw, it's not they're afraid to throw. He's covering his guy. Would you agree with that, or and and, and then reiterate that he's just that good, or would you say that uh, he's got this? I mean, everybody thought that Deion Sanders had this air about him that he wasn't actually that good, but that his antics made everybody believe he was that good. He intimidated more than he actually was good. No, De Deion was good. Deion was good, prime time, but in tackle he was part time. Now Rivas, he's the real deal. I mean, he can cover, uh, he tackles, uh, he's 100%, he's I, I, I like him, I like him, he's probably one of the best. When you, when you said Dion was good, you were talking about his batting average or his play with the Braves? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, what do you think of the game today, the way it's changed, and how it's different from when you played? Well, it's, it's, it's much different. The aspect of it, with the rule changes, uh, the size of the players, speed, uh, the different offense and defensive sets, the size of the money that they make, the attitude of the players, uh, there's more egos, there's more me, 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 my highlight film, there's not so much team as it is um, individuals, and uh, so the, 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 the game has changed a lot. Do you like the way it's changed? No. no I, I think the quality of the game has gone down. I think they hype it with dancing girls and dancing bears and, and funny commercials and things like that with the quality of the game and the way it's played it's i think it's going down well i'm all for a little bit of throwback so if we could get it back to the way it was i've got no problem but i do like the a little bit more open pass game that we have now yeah well that's true you know they the fans like to see scoring they like to see long plays and that's fine but you know, i'm a defensive guy i'm gonna shut that stuff down and we did back in my day with the doomsday defense. Did you talk a lot of trash when you did it? Uh, no, no trash. I, I that my plan. Is that, is that a difference in, in today's yeah. game? Oh, absolutely. That's all they do nowadays, talk trash, and I think that's what they uh, they want them to do. Maybe for the, the TV or for whatever, but I let my play be my trash. I think that that's the best way to do it. Who do you like for Defensive Player of the Year here tonight? Uh, you, do you like Clay Matthews? Do you like Troy Palomalo? Who's your pick? You know, it, there's, there's been so much good play, good defensive play. You know, Troy Palomalo, I think if he hadn't had that little time when he was hurt and injured, he would be a shoe-in. But uh, I think maybe Clay has the edge because of that. Mel, thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure having you here. Enjoy the awards show and enjoy the rest of, of the uh, Super Bowl festivities. All right, Mike, it's been good talking to you. Good talking to you. I'm Michael Artsis, live at Union Station in Dallas, Texas, where the NFL Player of the Year awards are underway. We are still in the cocktail hour. The Player of the Year awards are coming to you live for the first time ever. Thanks to us, sports.com, and Ustream.tv, who's streaming this live. You can check us out, sports.com, and you can also check out more on the NFL alumni at their site, nflalumni.org. They're the ones who put on the NFL Player of the Year awards.